we're talking about Romanian University, precisely UBB, which is found in Cluj Napoca. So today I want to talk about those things that you need to know before applying into the university. I'm going to talk about the necessary document that is required to apply into any of the university, any of the faculty. I'm going to talk about the admission process and I'm going to talk about those steps that you need to follow after you have gotten the admission letter and the tuition fee. So guys, if you want to apply to any Romanian university, if you intend to um, come to Romania for studies, this video is for you. If you want to apply... Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Welcome back to Cindy's Reality. If you're new on the channel, you're welcome. If you're all on the channel, thanks for tuning in. So guys, today I'm going to be talking about Romanian university precisely ubb which is found in cluj napoca so today i want to talk about those things that you need to know before applying into the university i'm going to talk about the necessary document that is required to apply into any of the university any of the faculty i'm going to talk about the admission process and i'm going to talk about those steps that you need to follow after you have gotten the admission letter and the tuition fee so guys, if you want to apply to any Romanian university, if you intend to um, come to Romania for studies, this video is for you. If you want to apply to any university, this video is for you as I'm going to be explaining the necessary documents and the procedure for you to apply into this university and guys if you're facing any difficulties applying into the university and you need help please comment in the comment section or if you want me to help you do the admission also comment in the comment section and i'm going to respond to that so guys, for some reason i have my computer with me so at some point in time i'll have to be looking into the computer and then talking to you the reason why i'm doing that is because i've written down very important things that i have to say in this video so i don't um, mix up the point or i don't say something that is not really important or something that is not really valuable so everything that i have to say any every important thing every important document that is needed by someone to apply in the university i've just written it down just so i say everything as it is and give the rightful information out there so guys let me first of all give a brief introduction about babish boy university babish boy university commonly known as ubb is found in romania precisely in a city called cluj napoca so um i've been able to study in this university i came here three years ago so at i apply i got admission letter got the visa and then i came here did my studies and now i'm a graduate i graduated already so i want to give out this information there to help someone so let me just give a brief information about this university babi babi university is a university it's a very big university that is found in cluj napoca it 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 gives um it offer a lot of courses a lot of courses both in the masters both in the masters in the bachelor and in the doctorate program so this university has close to 284 um bachelor's program that is um taught in english um, in German, in Romanian language, and also in Hungarian language. It also has a total of 264 um, programs, that is a master's program, which is being taught in the same languages that I mentioned earlier. So you just have to choose the language that you want to come and study in. This university also um, offers a doctorate program. But for a doctorate program, there are two criteria that needs to be um, there are two conditions that need to be attained in order for the university to let you study for the doctorate program. One of the um, one of the conditions is that you need to have a supervisor, a scientific supervisor that will accept to work with with you all through the program, supervise your project, and the rest. And secondly, you need to have a master's. Um, a master's degree and thirdly you need to know a, uh, and you need to have a mastery of two international languages be it english french 
but you just need to have a mastery of two international language so guys let me talk about the tuition fee which is what is very important so actually the various programs that are being offered here by the university they have different um tuition fee so a specific course will have um a different tuition fee for me my university i study business management so i paid three thousand euro per year and my friends that were also here they offer um cyber security and the tuition fee was also different so i'm going to put a link in the description box if you want you can click on that link to look at the various courses and the tuition fee if you want so guys the next point that i really want to talk on is the necessary document that is needed for the necessary document that is needed for for admission so let's talk about um the necessary documents that is needed for admission yeah so guys the first document that is needed is the application form this application form you download it from the university website link in the description box as well you download this document print it out fill it with the necessary information that is needed and then scan it back into your device or into your laptop into your phone wherever you want to keep it which is safe you do that um guys i would like to say that um you can get a piece of paper to write down the necessary documents otherwise the link is in the description box where you can go and then look at the document for yourself the second document that is needed um for um admission is um your diploma so if you're applying for the bachelor's program you need to have the baccalaureate diploma the high um ordinary level diploma or the high school level or the high or the advanced level diploma for me i'm a cameroonian so obviously in cameroon we have um ordinary and advanced level and even baccalaureate from another country i don't know what other documents they have but then the university needs all of the diploma that you have that, that you have acquired during your years of studies so the third document that is needed on the line is a matriculation sheet the um fifth document is your birth certificate the next document is um a marriage certificate yeah so if you're married you have to include this certificate and then the safe the seventh document is the medical certificate that you get from a hospital to prove that your 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 system is okay for studies another document that is needed is the admission fee and the admission fee you can pay the admission fee online or if you have somebody here in romania that can pay for you um you can still send the person to pay it for you either at the either at the school office or pay um in a bank and get the receipt and the last document but not the least is um language profi proficiency this language proficiency um you get it from your from your from your school your high school where you have been studying and and you, you you need it so guys i spoke about the magical sheet the magical sheet is actually the transcript this transcript you also get it from your high school to show that okay you were you were you were good while studying so guys another thing that i want us to talk about is the procedure to apply for admission that um in other words how to apply in this university so first of all i need to put it out there that a lot of things have changed about this university here in romania in my year when i was applying we could only like um, we could only send documents through email to the international office you scan all of your documents in a single file and then you send to the international office they cross check the document and say if everything is okay and they tell you but now things have been changed i think they have, they have done it now in a more modern way where there's a platform where you do everything by yourself you upload your document you fill in your information so guys let me just go into it and tell you how this platform work but then there's also a after you've ready your after you've registered yourself on this platform 
with your active email, the next thing that you need to do is to upload um, a passport size photo. So this is a photo that is going to show your face, to show um, who you are. Like, yeah, you, if you know what I mean by a passport size photo, I have to upload it on this website. The second thing that I also need to upload is all of these documents that I mentioned above, scan and combined in a single um, PDF, in a single, in a single PDF form, you have to upload this document. So guys, how these things work, let me tell you how it works on the website. After uploading all of your documents, all the communication that is needed happens on this platform. They don't get to you by your email or anything. Everything that you need to know. So if you upload your documents and at some point in time, there's a document that is not valid or um, the document that does not have like a correct date of birth or a document that has a problem the school will only contact you on this website and say there this document that you uploaded is not okay can you change it can you upload another one and it takes um 72 um 72 hours that's two days for you to upload the right document if you don't upload the right document um the school cancel all of the process that you have, you have done like all like everything that you have done will be cancelled and you're going to start back from a fresh by registering yourself on this platform using your email uploading the uh, um, passport site photo and also uploading all the other documents plus the one that they asked you to upload so this is the case with when the admission process is completed when all of your documents is complete and the school has responded to you on that platform that okay mr this mr that all of your documents are okay now we we'll have to proceed to you have to proceed by getting the admission letter so this take um um three to a month working days for this admission letter to come out so now we're going to go to the next point which is what you need to do after your admission letter is out so after receiving your admission letter you have to pay your tuition fee you have to pay your tuition fee and there's a period of time where you have to pay this tuition fee which is um 21 working days from the day that you receive the um admission letter this tuition fee can be paid through bank transfer or can be paid by someone in Romania that you have. For me, the best advice is to, if you have someone here in Romania that can help you pay the fees, good and fine, you send the money and they pay the fee. This is good because it will take just one working day for your receipt to come out. And it's that receipt that you need to use to apply for your visa. Well, when you pay through a bank transfer, it takes 21 working days for the, for the school to receive the money in their account, confirm that the school, the tuition fee has been paid, and then send you the school fee receipt for you to use it to apply for your visa. So the easiest way, if you have someone, that, if you have someone in Romania, that person should pay for you. But if you don't have any option, you have to wait and pay through bank transfer. So this is the reason why it's very important to start your application, to apply in the university very early enough, like from the very first time that the admission um, date is set to start applying for the admission so that all of this time that you're waiting for your for your admission letter you're waiting for your um the receipt of your tuition fee you still have enough time to apply for your visa if you get that right the school have told you that i've received the school fee and they are and they give you the um school fee receipt now it's now now it's now left for you to apply for the visa so what you need to do to apply for the visa is that you need to contact the embassy. If you have an agent that is helping you to do all of this, it will be a little bit easier. But if you're doing it on your own, you have to contact the agent. You have to co contact the embassy to ask them on the required document that is needed for you to apply for the visa. So the necessary documents that are actually needed by the embassy to apply for the visa is all of the documents that you use to, to you use for your admission process all of the documents that are listed before and then plus the need the one that needs to be added is the um is the tuition fee that you pay the receipt that you receive from the school 
an accommodation document so when the school receives the school fee they give you that school fee receipt with a document attached to show that you have an accommodation then i'm still going to talk about this accommodation process on its own so you apply for your visa applying for the visa it takes two to it takes a month for the visa to come out so let's talk about um the steps that you need to follow after getting your visa to come to the university so after you have gotten your visa the very first thing that you need to do is to apply for your accommodation so applying for applying for the accommodation is also done on this website it's also done on the website where you have to upload your visa to let the university know that you have gotten the visa and they should provide you with an accommodation guys it's very important to apply for your accommodation early enough very very important that you apply for your accommodation at the early stage usually in september september is the best month to apply for your accommodation because after september the school dormitories are, are full and they are fully booked and then another thing i also need to 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 to, to note is that when you come late you might get to the worst to the worst coming to the coming that are not good so it's good that you book your your you start to apply for your for your for you start to apply in the university that you want to come really fast as it's very important because you're going to get the visa you're going to get a good accommodation and you're going to start studies on time and now there's a lot of updates that have been going on if you apply for your if you apply in the university really late of course you get the admission letter but the downside of it is that you might not be able to get a visa this is what that this this is like this is what is happening now if you go for the visa when the first semester is almost getting to an end or if you go like better see if you go to the embassy in december to apply for a visa there's a high chance that you might not get the visa because the because the school also said it that if you're applying for a visa at that time is high is 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 risky because first the embassy will not grant you a visa secondly you don't have um accommodation in the um, in 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 the coming or in the student hostel and tell you have to provide accommodation for yourself until when the school is able to provide you with an accommodation and getting an accommodation for yourself means that you're getting an apartment which is very very which is very very expensive to to be afforded by a student so guys this is very very important to 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 consider on my next video i'm going to be talking about um how to apply for a resident permit when you have gotten here as when when you have gotten your visa and you're here in Romania already i'm going to talk about the things that you need to do to apply for the resident permit in the, in the immigration so guys thank you very much for tuning in i hope that this information that i put out there will help somebody and don't forget don't forget i might not have said everything here if you need someone to help you look for your admission or if you need help in anything that you want to do to get an admission feel free to comment in the comment section and i'm going to respond and help you to do whatsoever thing that you're finding it difficult to do so guys thanks for watching if you have not subscribed yet please do well to subscribe and click on the notification button so each time i post a video you get notified so guys Thanks for watching and bye.